Hello folks and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do it now and hit the bell icon to get instant updates. For today's project, I'm using a 4mm crochet hook and a double knit yarn. So starting with a slip knot. Chain 18. Now chain 1 and make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Make 18 single crochets for your first row. Chain 1 and turn your work. Make 1 single crochet in each stitch, making a total of 18 single crochets for your second row. At the end of the row, chain 1 and turn your work. Make 1 single crochet in each stitch and this is your 3rd row. At the end of the third row just turn your work and then make three slip stitches. This is your first slip stitch, second and the third. Now chain 20. Making sure that your chain is straight, make a slip stitch in the third stitch from the end. One, two, three. Make a slip stitch. Make another slip stitch in the second last stitch. And then turn your work. Now I'm going to the first chain. My chains are really tight so it took me a while. Make a single crochet. In the next stitch make an increase of single crochet. That means two single crochets in the same stitch. Make another increase in the next chain. Now make 14 half double crochets in the next 14 chains. After the half double crochet stitches, make an increase with your single crochet stitch. Make another increase in the next chain. Now make a single crochet in the first chain or the last chain. Now make a slip stitch in the second last stitch. And another slip stitch in the last stitch. Turn your work. Now skip the slip stitches underneath and make a single crochet on the top of the chain stitches. 
So make five single crochets. Now make four half double crochets in the next four stitches. Now make six increases with your half double crochets. Now make four half double crochets in the next four stitches. Now make five single crochets in the last five stitches. And slip stitch at the end of your work, which is your initial row three. So this is the end of your work. Cut off the yarn and I'm going to weave in the yarn and you'll see the final D. So this is how the final D looks like. Just straighten it out a bit. And if you liked my video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.